hello, I'm Steve uh, with Jesus is Alive in America. Because he's living in me. Um, I'm going to share a couple of scriptures that I got early this morning. The Lord has been giving me you know, like scriptures every day. Sometimes in dreams. Sometimes when I'm just waking up. Sometimes in my early morning prayer. But anyhow, this morning was Isaiah 33, 3 through 8. And Jeremiah 33, 3 through 12. But then as I was looking up in Isaiah, 32 caught my attention because that's a whole different avenue I'm going to go down but um what I want to talk about I'm just gonna you know let you guys read them but the first part in Isaiah was you know kind of like along the desolation of the cities and just things that weren't really good um and sometimes we kind of get the impression that the Bible contradicts itself but it doesn't it's unto a purpose so when you read Isaiah 33, it talks about the bridegroom, talks about the rebuilding, talks about the rebuilding of those desolate places, of those cities that are, seem uninhabitable. What he's really talking about is about people's lives, the destruction that's been brought upon by the enemy this, in this country. I mean, Go to Kentucky, I think it's Kentucky, West Virginia. They're having all that rampant drug problem with their opiates. There was one county that like 4 million prescriptions or something got filled at one pharmacy or some ungodly mess. And, you know, I mean, just a lot going on, guys. A lot of seeming destruction all around us. But Jesus came living in us that we can be his glory his bridegroom, so that we can shine. Okay? So, just read those scriptures, you know, take them, whatever the Lord, direction the Lord takes you down. 30, Isaiah 32 is a great one, but the reason I highlighted Isaiah 32 was because it goes along with a book that I won't have it done until June 29th, completed, but I've got it out there. So I'll send you a free copy because the Lord told me, he said, just get it out there and then proof it later. So right now it's all, the only proofing I did was a spell check, really, honestly. Um, not really an author. I just take the stuff that God downloads me. But the name of the book is called Jesus Christ and You, the Hope of Glory. You get it on, I got it on eBay for 99 cents starting, um, Amazon for $3.99, or you can just email me at youngstromsteve at gmail.com. I won't ever reuse your email address, send you no junk, ask you for any donations, nothing. I'll just send you a copy of the free book. But we're his glory, his story, to walk the earth in power and authority. If he's living in you, we become God, sons of God and we become God's glory. So tons and tons of scriptures. I mean, there's like, I'm on page 230 now. Um, in the book, and the 95% of it is scripture. So I like, I prayed to the Lord. I said, well, Lord, why so many scriptures? He said, so that people would read his word, get a deeper understanding, a closer relationship with him. So really, that's what this is all about. Um, nothing to do with me. I'm just the directional, just being obedient, putting out there the messages that the Lord's giving me, the things that he's showing me, the things that he's teaching me. Getting woke up at one to three in the morning for several weeks now, three weeks. A little tired sometimes, guys, kind of, you know, I'm like, God, I'm going like to get a little sleep and then I'll go back to sleep at, you know, six in the morning. I'll eat breakfast and go back to sleep or try to get a couple hours and... So I've been just kind of taking a season of rest. But he told me to put this one out this morning. This it, and I'm going to start back up soon. But right now it's just all the stuff that he's downloading and dreams and visions and words. Um, what he told me about these scriptures this morning was that it was his true power 
And he's the bread of life. And these scriptures are for this hour. And he said, then he took me, this sounds crazy, but this is what he told me. He said, he said, there's so many Christi Christian churches, whatever you want to call it, Christianity, people in the church, whatever, that breakfast is one of the most important meals because it starts your day. You just kind of need that nourishment. So he said, a lot of it is like, People wanted it in a cereal box. Captain Crunch is where he took me to. And I'm like, I used to like Captain Crunch, but yeah, it tastes good, smells good. Box is cool looking. There's sometimes even a prize in there, but it has no value, no nutritional value, really none. It's bad for you. It's harmed your body. And we want to take that box down when we need it, when we need God for something, and then when we don't, we just put it back on the shelf and kind of forget about it or whatever. And there's just a lot of false teaching. So the other main theme that I go along with is who's your source? Should be God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, or his word. If it's coming from somewhere else. You know, you need to kind of just put a little bit of caution on it. I know there's somebody else's book or just opinions or just all this stuff. Because we're living in a, a dangerous hour. It even says that in the Bible. In the last days, there'll be perilous times. It's time for us. It, it's not It's not even revelation. It is revelation, but it's not. It's just an opening and awakening and an opening of our eyes. And he wants to do it for everybody. Whether you're the doorkeeper at the church or been saved for 50 years and have some big church. Same. In the Bible. The quality piece, my wife brought it out this morning in, in Psalm, Song of Solomon 5. It's all about the bride. We were talking. But read Matthew 20. It's right there, guys. Just read it. I'm just throwing that one out. That one's free. Just read that one, and you'll see the equality piece, how God looks at us as all the same. Even, you know, read Genesis 126. That was before the story of, of, of Eve, really, before God created Eve. But in 126, it said, let us create man in our image. Then the rest of it reads, so he created them both male and female. We're the ones making these separations and these rules and opinions and stuff, you know. And yeah, there's some scriptures in the Bible that maybe might get you to think down those lines. But, you know, I'm studying that right now. God didn't separate us. We did. We, the enemy did. It creates all these issues between us. Race issues and all this other stuff. But anyhow, just who's your source? That's really what I've got, got to say. So, I, I mean, I'm getting specific scriptures and dreams that I'll have to look up. And they, they're like landmark scriptures to me. And I'm going to start sharing them with my The Lord told me to start putting my thoughts and stuff in the computer because my handwriting is horrible. And I can't even, I can't even read some of it. It's like second grade English. It's like, man, God, how am I going to do this? So I got a computer, so I just, you can read that. So anyhow, um, just email me, comment, look at some of my other videos. I got a bunch of them out there. Um, let me know what you think. Give me your opinions. You know, good, bad, feedback. Or you can email me directly, youngstrommissteve at, at gmail.com. Um, I've actually got two books out. I'll send you both of them if you want. Just say I want both books. Um, the first one is all about visions. Second one is tons and tons of scriptures of how we're his glory. Arise and shine for the glory of the Lord is upon you. Just on and on. John, read John 17. I mean, so I'll send you a free copy. It's not even, it won't cost you anything. Like I said, I'm not going to, I want to keep your email. I'm not that technically literate anyhow. I'm not doing it to try to create something. It's some kind of following or anything like that. I'm not. I'm not that guy. I'm just being a willing and obedient vessel, and we all have a purpose. 
and a reason and a destiny. That's why God created us. So it's just kind of time for us all to step up to the plate. You know, it may be to, I don't know, you, you may be a CEO and okay, or you may be, you know, work at 7-Eleven or whatever, or you may be having a minister or witness to the clerk at 7-Eleven, you know? Those guys don't make hardly any money. They're having a bad day. Most of a lot of them have to work two jobs because of the... That's a whole nother rabbit hole. But anyhow, I'm not going to go down there. But so... Fulfill your purpose, guys. Get, you, get it from your source. God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, and the Word. Do what God tells you to do, not what man's telling you to do. So, anyhow, we all have a reason, a calling, a purpose. I like to, I don't even like some of those words. I'm looking at it more like an appointment, more like a mantle. I'm something that God's directing us to do. Why well, said he be a lamp under our feet and light under a path. So, bounce it off of him. So, you know, like I said, I mean, like, I mean, like I said, you could be a CEO. Well, guess what? Somebody has to reach those people that, it, you know, wealth has nothing to do with it in the kingdom. But those people need salvation, too. They need Jesus, too. They may have kids on drugs, too. They may have a wife with cancer. They, you know, I mean, it's an equality piece, guys. Or you could be the homeless drunk. Man or woman, rich or famous or whatever or not. Like I said, the doorkeeper or the greeter at church or maybe not even going to church. So if you're wondering what my shirt says, I'm going to end with this. I, like, I think it's cool. I got five of them that I wear, but different ones. But this one says stand for the flag and kneel for the cross. So kind of a fashion statement. I Get some amens, I get some not so nice comments, but you know, it's just I I this is one of my prayers. I don't want to have an attitude, but I just don't care anymore unless if it's about Jesus. Honestly, I don't. I'm not trying to be I'm just not. I'm not going down there. I'm isolating, insulating myself, I'm not trying to be recluse or anything, you know. We do minister to different places, different places where God sends us all over the country lately, and recently, um, homeless shelter, wherever. I'm going to speak because we're his voice. That was another thing he told me. Read Psalms 29. We're his voice. But anyhow, I got so much to share. The Lord's just been dealing with me about writing down the writing it down in these books and manuscripts and things. So anything you want me to send you, great. I will just email me, like I said, but because it's just too much. And I don't want to take up all your time and let you just listen to an hour and a half message. Which I could. I could take up the whole day. I just try to make these five minutes and then and then it never works. So I've been writing them down, but I've been seeing the, res the results. I've been seeing the fruit of it. I've had several people, because I put a lot of scriptures with them. Mostly that's all they are in these books. Tons and tons and tons of scriptures. Well, the, the first one took me almost a year to, to research it all and find all the scriptures that went along with all these visions. Long, long time, guys. So, that's all I, you know, I just want to be directional. I just want to be, you know, about my father's business and pass it on. That's all. So, anyhow, we love you. Um, let me know what you think. If you like this, send, you know, send it to your friends on Facebook or any other social media or, you know, share with others on YouTube. Um, look at the one about the election the revision I had after the election because, you know, it's kind of like make America great again. Well, you know what? You can, sorry, guys. You can throw that hat away. Get rid of that T-shirt. 
Because Jesus is what's going to make America great again, turn it back to him, not some man. Whether you voted for the person or not. Of course I want America to be a, good, a great country. It's where I live. I want my land to be free. Grand, my grandchildren, you know, I want them to be blessed. Of course, absolutely. But unless we get it right, guys, and turn back, like in Second Chronicles seven fourteen, my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. Kind of a, you know, tough thing for Americans. You know, the humble piece is so. Anyhow, a um, lot out there. A lot. I got a lot to say. Um, just get a copy of my book for free, and then you can read it, pick and choose what you want. Take the time, late night, early morning, whatever works for you, because I know everybody's got busy schedules, and they've got kids, you're really busy. Um, college or whatever, maybe college and a job, or maybe two jobs. There's just a lot going on, I get it. So thank you for even listening and tuning in. Um, God bless you. Have a great, awesome, wonderful day. Um, and I am going to try to start getting out some more messages probably, I don't know, soon, next month or so, a couple weeks, soon. I'm going to kind of get off of this rest. but So bear with me, um, but look at some of my other ones. There's plenty of them out there. Or like I said, just email me and I'll send you a book. And that's, I, that's it. You won't get a bunch of emails, a bunch of nothing else. You won't get solicitations and not ask you for an offering nothing i mean not even there yet so <clears throat> love you guys talk to you soon god bless you have a great wonderful awesome rest of your week